Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina. Hope you're all doing well today. In today's video, I have a review and demo for you guys. I'm going to try and do like a quick review and demo, and it's on the Salon Perfect Brow Pomade. This little guy wiggled its way into my monthly favorites. That was actually my last video, and a lot of you were curious about it. If I could do like a demo, review on it, because it's a brow pomade, and it's at the drugstore. Let's get started. Let's talk about the price. This little guy retails for $4.88 and I did get this at Walmart. You can get this wherever you can find Salon Perfect. I just honestly stumbled across it in Walmart. In terms of the packaging, it does come with this actual pot right here with the pomade inside and then you get a dual sided brush. One end has that angled um, precision brush which is what you're going to use to apply the product. The other side having the spoolie. Right there was awesome as well because not only is this so affordable but the fact that it gives you what you need. You don't need to go out and buy a separate brush. I thought that was really nice as well. I saw three shades there. I saw light brown, which is what I have, blonde, and then dark brown. Like you guys can see, I do have dark brown hair though, dark brown eyebrows kind of, but I saw the light brown what it looked like. Somebody who doesn't like getting dark brown ever when it comes to my brows because I find that makes my brows way too harsh. So I try to go for a light brown or medium as long as it's not too warm. I find this to be more of a kind of medium taupey brown if anything. It's a very neutral tone brown with maybe a hint of cool brown in there as well. And like you can see, this product is really, really creamy. It honestly reminds me of a gel eyeliner. For example, like the Maybelline Studio Gel Eyeliner. Um, same sort of pot and the same sort of consistency. It feels whipped though. If you see really closely, I don't know if you can tell, but it just kind of has like a whipped texture so with that being said you do have to be careful when you're applying it because your brush will pick up a lot of product. So now I'm just going to jump into the demonstration for you guys so you can see it being applied. You can see one eyebrow with it, one eyebrow without it and you can kind of see for yourself what it does. demo it picks up a lot of product and I do short strokes I like to work um, very slowly with this because you can build up too much but to be honest I absolutely love the outcome of this product you guys know I just kind of recently started getting into my brows the past couple of months I was somebody who just never really filled in my brows because I have dark eyebrows and I just thought anything would make my brows way too harsh then I started like looking back at pictures and something just kind of looked off and I could never figure out just what it was but it was that my eyebrows were never filled in and they were so sparse because I do um, tweeze them and like trim them down myself, but I hadn't been filling them in. So they weren't framing my face. Eyebrows can really frame the eye and really frame the face. So now it's something that has come into my everyday routine. Lately I've been trying a lot of different brow products and trying to get used to different formulas, whether it be a pencil, a powder, now a pomade. So far, you guys, this might be my favorite formula to do. I love the outcome of it. You can really get those little areas. You can create almost brush strokes on your eyebrow, and like you can see, if I kind of get in closer, you can still see little gaps. I didn't want this to be completely painted on my brow so it doesn't look like I have any hairs, but I really like this, and this was actually, the light brown was a perfect match for me as well. So again, if you have dark brown hair, don't be afraid to try the light brown because it's really not that light and it is more of that cool tone shade. In terms of the brush, I mean you can't really complain because it was technically free with this product, 
But, so I have been using the brush that it comes with and I really liked it. But I find the more that I use this angled brush, the thicker it gets and the whiter. So it's getting harder to keep a really precise brow. Something like this Equal Tools brush. Not sure if you'll be able to tell the difference. But this one is a lot smaller right here and it has even more of an angle to it. So this was what I'm probably going to use from now on to do my brows. Because you can just really create those small strokes that are going to look like actual brow hairs. Okay, so that completes this short little review. Let me know if you guys like short, quick reviews to the point like this. And I can definitely do more of them for you guys. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much you guys for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye! Today's video is going to be my May favorites and I'm kind of excited about this because I have some products that I don't think I've even shown to you guys yet because I recently got them but I haven't really shown them in a haul or anything. So let's get started.